At Arlington National Cemetery, we have the privilege of serving those who have served our nation. This video is an inside look at the variety of events that happen here, as told by the people who make them happen. It's our distinct honor to care for these grounds and to preserve the legacy of our nation's heroes. Dignitaries from all over the world come to honor the service and sacrifice of our service members. Uh, recently, we've had the Prime Minister of Australia, as well as the Presidents of Italy and Colombia, uh, come to participate in full honor of ceremonies. These ceremonies will generally be reserved for heads of state or senior government officials, and they will always include a ceremonial component from each branch of the military. During these ceremonies, they'll place a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier as a formal tribute to the sacrifices of our military. We do about 100 of these ceremonies each year. We're at the northeast end of the Millennium Project at Arlington National Cemetery. This expansion project is hugely important to the cemetery. It consists of 27 acres, a uh, little over 27,000 new first interment opportunities for the cemetery. Features include four new columbariums, a niche wall, and multiple interment opportunities in ground. And it will allow us to extend the lifespan of the cemetery out to the mid-2030s. It was an honor to be a part of this memorial service this morning honoring a Tuskegee Airman who served in World War II. And um, they're going home with peace, knowing that their loved one has been taken care of. As a cemetery representative, our job is to make sure that every veteran is honored with dignity and respect. This is an active cemetery, with up to 30 services conducted each weekday. Behind the scenes, our team of caretakers worked diligently to open and close every gravesite and columbarium niche for our nation's veterans. In doing so, we continue to provide the level of care that our nation's heroes have earned. The work we do here is important. I feel like it's my way of giving back to the veterans that served our country. So I take great pride in working here. The monuments and memorials at Arlington National Cemetery really tell the story of our nation and the Space Shuttle Challenger and Space Shuttle Columbia memorials, along with the burial of two of the three Apollo 1 astronauts, uh, represent the sacrifices uh, that our astronauts have made to push back the frontiers of exploration. It's important to commemorate uh, events like the 30th anniversary of the Challenger explosion, uh, to remember them, uh, and really to celebrate what they lived for. A lot of effort goes into maintaining the 624 acres here at the cemetery. I'm a horticulturist, and I manage and take care of the landscapes throughout the cemetery. We're standing in front of one of the landscapes here that we consider a sustainable landscape. It has many different native plants, from an ornamental grass, which is right in front of me. What makes this sustainable is that we don't need to continually water and or fertilize any of these plants in this landscape. Plus, we have the added benefit of the fruits and the habitat for our local wildlife. 